Hello, welcome to the simplified load of purchase receipts run through. In this video tutorial, we will look at how the simplified loader templates report data errors back to the user. In the previous video tutorial on purchase order receipts, we covered how to query your open purchase orders using simplified loader Excel template, how to query purchase orders based on one or more of the PO numbers, how to create the purchase order receipt from Excel directly in Oracle, and lastly, how to return goods to the supplier. So let's continue. We'll have a look at how simplified loader templates report errors back to the user when certain data has been entered incorrectly in Excel. The error reporting feature comes in really handy during data migration or day-to-day -day business activities. With that in mind, let's open the purchase order receipt spreadsheet with sample data that we created in one of the earlier purchase order receipt template tutorials. The first step that we need to do is download all the open purchase order details back into the spreadsheet and then purposely enter some incorrect data in the sheet. OK, to download data, we just need to click the Get My Open POs button. Log into Fusion and all open purchase order data will be displayed and accessible to the user. OK, let's randomly select some purchase orders and invalidate the data. The first record that we will pick up is row 77. In this row, the purchase order entered is an amount-based purchase order. Now let's invalidate this data by passing the quantity value instead of the amount. To track the data change we are making to the data, let's add a column called Error Scenario. Data entered in this column will not be sent to Oracle, but instead we can use this column to add comments to track our changes that we made to the data. OK, in row 77, let's enter the comment Receive Quantity instead of Amount. We won't change any data in the next row, which means the record contains the right details. Let's add the comment receive PO in full valid just so we know. In the next row, we can specify a future receiving date of the 29th of October. And in the comments column, we'll write future receive. In the next row, we will perform partial receiving. So instead of receiving $864, we will have received only 500. Now let's track this by entering the comment partial receive. In the next row, we can introduce the same error as we did for row 77 and move amount value to the quantity field. To upload test data, we need to highlight all five rows and click Create Receipt Transaction button. This action will process the five records one by one and will either return a success or an error for each of the records that we updated. OK, here we have it. We can see the error message states, you must enter the transaction amount since the matching basis is amount. The next record is a success, so there is no error message which is what we expected. The next record had a future receive date, so quite rightly, we are seeing the error stating the transaction date must be earlier than or equal to the 25th of October, which today's date being the 25th. In the last record, we had created the same error message as the first row that we changed, and here we see the message complaining about the transaction amount. So there we have it. This is how a user is informed of any data errors. This constant data checking within Simplified Loader helps to ensure the data remains correct. We hope you enjoyed the demo of purchasing receipt template and the error reporting capabilities. All Simplified Loader templates can be used for data migration purposes or business as usual activities. In case you have any questions, please write to us at our email support at simplifiedloader.com 
or just post your support question here. Thank you.